Here we have the outside of the Explore 304. Firstly, you will see the Alco stabiliser. And this van is also fitted with Alco trailer control as well. Next we have the gas locker. So we have room in here for two bottles. The whale regulator is here. And then off the whale regulator is the pigtail that then screws into the propane bottle and then is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top. Clockwise is closed. Anti-clockwise is open. Do make sure the bottle is off for travel. Also in here, we have the step, mains lead, corner steady wind and handle, and the wheel brace. If we now move round, we have the flue for the whale boiler. There are no covers or anything that need to come off these particular flues. Uh, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. Next we have the water fill point. So to remove the submersible, just slide up, pull and remove. And then if we now drop it back inside the aqua roll, we will now plug it back in and then slide back down. Next we have both the vents for the fridge. Again, make sure that nothing is obstructing them. Uh, do not spray a load of water at them when washing the caravan. Then we have the grey water drain points just here. And as we come round the back, We then have the cassette toilet. So top hatch here is to fill up the header tank. So if I now just pop the key in, pop in your pink solution just here and then top the rest up with water with either a watering can or a hose pipe. Do not travel with it completely full or it will slosh around everywhere. If the header tank is full and you need to drain it for either travel or for winterization. If we now come to the cassette locker just here. You will see the drain point just here. So if I just grab the hose. the end to drain it down and then we have the standard Fetford Casoilet just here it is on wheels with an extendable handle next we have the weight plate just there so on that that gives you also the wheel nut torque settings then we have access underneath the bench seat you will also see in here that we have main supply and then we have the battery locker just here mine took up just there and then the battery try waiting for a leisure battery to be connected just there And then lastly we have the barbecue point. You will see that the adapter itself is just attached on a cable tie just here at the moment. So when you come to use it, the hose of the barbecue just goes over this rib, rib section just here. And then you just put a Jubilee clip on it. And then this part here inserts when my finger is here. Once it's inserted, you will then be able to turn the gas on 
and to release it just push on the collar push it up towards the caravan and it will then pop back out again the spare wheel on these models is located just behind the axle and is in the carrier just here and this caravan is also alarmed to work the auto watch alarm just press this button here and you'll get one chirp to let you know it's armed and if I now press it again you'll get two chirps to let you know it's disarmed when you arm and disarm you will also see that the awning light comes on on a timer